In this video, we're going to be reviewing how to solve some of the face clipping issues that you may have come across, or at least that I did. So previously, I had this situation whereby something like this was occurring. Let me just open my mouth to uh, get that happening. And basically, this kind of thing was happening, particularly with the, the hat. And I cut long story short, see this hat where it's clipping my hair, but not my head. And I found there's a plane that's actually clipping through it. My problem is I had lots of stuff going on, not a crazy amount, but enough that it was causing some confusion. I tried playing around with the settings for the materials, the background uh, and the person there. So what I was doing is changing the materials uh, using depth test and right to depth. I don't know exactly why the problem was resolved, but I do know how I got around it. So I'm hoping if you're falling into that, I can show you the steps I took and hopefully that'll help you out as well. So the two key things are definitely layers and the depth test and right to depth. I've seen some online videos previously where it shows what works and what doesn't. In my particular case, what I did is ended up putting both the person and the mat uh, background. As you can see, both of them, if you look at the uh, advanced render options, I've put them both to use depth test only. I'd seen previously that you should put one of the backgrounds on the uh, right to depth and the other one on the, the person should be on um, use depth test. It didn't work out for me and it might well be because that's interfering with the layers as well. But anyway, you'll see in my case, I've got both of them as use depth test only. On this background and person up here, uh, I put these actually, which is the key to my solution was that first part and then changing the layers. So I currently have layers of base, occlusion, anchors and top. It made sense to me to put the background in the background layer and the person in the top layer um, and the hat essentially in the top layer too. Turns out that's not the right way. What you do need to do is put the background in the top layer as well as the person in the top layer. And, and doing that actually solved my problem. So let me show you how it works. Basically, if we do background now, uh, if I open my mouth and you can see that I'm not clipping at all. If I get my hat on my head, um, there you go, there's my hat. Now you can see that it's clipping a little bit, right? Strange. Now, what happens if I come really close you see these really weird things happening now it's my face and this is really simply fixed by me changing this to be top layer so now that stays the same top layer and this is top layer but now everything works exactly as planned as i said initially i had this on the base and this is what happens so it works right up close <laughs> and there if i have this actually on any other layer you see this works fine until I get to there and just the hat disappears. So change this to be top layer. Uh, sorry. Yeah, change that to be top layer and change the background to be top layer. Voila, the problem goes away, works exactly as planned. I hope this helps. 